Alright, it's all downhill now. Well, it's not the prettiest of days, but uh, I've got a camping ride lined up. Hopefully the weather improves a bit, but it should be all right. Gonna catch up with, yeah, tsunami. <laughs> Big tide, she's all happening. Yeah, so I've got to uh, meet up with Kurt and his dad. We're gonna head up, probably up around uh, Station Creek, I'd say, and across um, Sherwood. So it looks like it's clearing up a little bit out to sea. But she's a pretty windy old day. And a bit wild. All right, I better take off. Try and catch up with the boys. Find where they are and um, we'll go for exploring from there. All right, into it. We'll go for you, Runga. Yeah, so what a difference 20 minutes makes. Literally gone 20Ks from Hungary. Now we got blue sky, mostly. Wow, 50-50. The road's dry. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a decent day. A little bit of rain, maybe tonight, so we should be all right. So we've just got to get through this. Get through the old cross harbour. Swan's Road, this is me. Through the slop. Hopefully the guys are here. I said 10, so we're yeah, five minutes off. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it'd be flowing more than that. This little creek here it normally gets up and running. But she's uh, just trickling. Nice spot, eh? I'll just wait over here for the guys. Should camp in here. <laughs> Hello, mate. How you going, man? How are you? Good, buddy. I'm Curtis. Nice to meet you. How you going, man? Good to see you. Your dad's Baz, is that right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Here he is. Slowly rolling. I don't think he wanted to fall over on the way in. No one does. <laughs> Who wants to fall over? Uh, How's the weather change, eh, from uh, down there? It got us. It got us real good. At oh, like, you got hammered. At like Valor. Yeah. Got that. Yeah. 
Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> How you going, Baz? Good, mate. How nice is this spot, eh? Hey? Yeah. This creek's normally a bit more water in it. Yeah. But it's um, it's a good spot. Yeah, this is Mickey Mouse, eh? Hey? It's just about camp here. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, yeah, we come to uh, the executive decision of camping at um, Station Creek. I haven't been there for years and Kurt wants to stay there, he's, so um, he hadn't been there for years either, so it sounds good. His dad's happy to tag along, so so we're going to go into the Sherwood Reserve. Into the Sherwood Reserve, might go show them Birch Falls. Look at the forestry, all right, look at these trees. Awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Pretty intimidating, eh? Hey? I've never seen it before, eh? Hey? I've gone through here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's very intimidating. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought I might come down it, but nah, man. <laughs> Full lock up all the way, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Yep. Commodore didn't make it, or whatever it is. Yeah. Good. Yeah, damn, eh? That's one intimidating hill. What is it? The Widowmaker. Yeah, I was sort of joking around with Kurt and said, oh, I'd probably go down it, wouldn't ride up it. But then I had a look at it and I figured I wouldn't do either of those things. But yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Um, yeah, you'll see like a little parking area and then it gets pretty wild. You got to walk a couple hundred meters, but I'll follow you. Eight hundred meters will will end up end up at the waterfall. Bit of a wild track to get down there if you wanted to ride, but walking's me. I'll go for a wander and have a look. Check out these steps. You probably could ride down them, eh? But they just, I don't know, how much hardship do you want? Ride half, fall half. <laughs> Slide. The... Yep. All right. This looks like the chicken route. Yeah, I was looking at that before, thinking that's more, more of an easy approach to my energy levels today. Yeah, it's probably the one, eh? Yeah, you could probably get down that side. I want to walk that side. Yeah, so far so good. I'd do all that. <laughs> yep. True. Yeah, true. Not fun being last, eh? Where, where is this? Where Sherwood. Is Sherwood. Sherwood Reserve. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know exactly what exactly. you'd call it. It's just yeah. Sherwood Reserve. Yeah. So it's all state forest. And that's what we're looking at. Epic view. You can clear the spider webs, eh? Yeah, thank you. No, it's all good. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> So down there, Kurt, there's some pools you can swim in. People yep. climb down and around, yep. and there's some other pools. You won't see them unless you've got a drone, but... How'd you find the spot? Google Earth, wandering. I'll send the drone out there. And have a stick with Oh, man. Yeah, well, it's a pretty cool view. Kurt's sort of gone next level down. Me and his dad stayed in the safe spot. But, um, yeah, mate, he'll be having a ball. He'll be buzzing when he gets back. You could probably just see him down there. Where is he? A little dot. Right on the edge of the drop off. I think he's in one of the um, pools, the infinity pools as they call it. I'm waiting for you to report. That's ridiculous. It's awesome, eh? Oh, Did see so the drone footage, like looking on your thing. It's mental. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You go down and you're like, that's epic. And you go down a bit more and you're like, how's it keep getting better? That's it. Yeah, like what you're looking at is one, like 5%. Yeah. And you go, you're looking at the drone footage going. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's why I told you I would try to get to the bottom. Yeah. I thought I'm getting the bottom and just chilling, but that'd be a massive mission. I couldn't, I failed. Yeah. All right, you ready to go? Mate, that's epic. Get out of here and go um, look for the campsite, eh? Next one, yep. Oh, sorry, yeah, scouts. I'm way ahead of myself. <laughs> All right. If we got time. Yeah, no, we'll do it. So this way is all new to me. A few Coffs Harbour guys are probably familiar with it, but it looks like the main sort of logging run off the top of that sort of Sherwood area. So if I give it a hiding, it's got some bald spots. Yeah, we're not too far off getting into Sherwood Creek Road again. Have a bit of a look at this road. I think so. Hope so. Oh, is that why you reckon? Yeah. What happened? That was... The property can sign and it's fenced off. Okay, well we're not going that way. I've made that decision. Alright, we'll go back. Remember we had the two big fork roads and we pick one? We'll pick the other one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was a bit of a fail on the other roads. Just got to get through to Sherwood. Sherwood Creek Road, so... Yeah, done a 7k detour. Hopefully you don't have to turn back with this one. Go for a look. So we just rocked up and about six people left, so it might be too bad, it might be too crowded. We will find out. Getting in the water anyway. I know I'm getting wet either I'm way. In the water. I'll burnt it. One one woman said it's lovely and the bloke said it's cold, so We're find out. it'll be in the middle, it'll be just right. Nice pool, eh? You go track in. Ok. 
Okay, it's going to look further. You right? I'm going to jump in here, so whatever you want to do. I'm going to crash out. I'm jumping this one. Good spot to leave gear. He can go exploring. Beautiful. This will do me. Don't tell me if it's cold. Okay, you've got a bit of bite, <laughs> it's not too bad. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's sort of right on the limit, eh? Awesome. Look at this cool little spot. Right, awesome. Little waterfall running out. Awesome, perfect. Temperature's good actually. So the woman said it was warm and the bloke said it was cold. And it's um it's right in between I reckon. Perfect. Alright. Let's swim back. Without drowning this camera. Oh. Kurt's found some pool somewhere I'd say. Some waterfall. Good fun. Going while you fellas play on the beach if you want. Perfect. Not going to argue with that. Not far off the beach. Interesting to see what the access is like. That's usually the usual drama is mainly just the access to most beaches. They're chewed out. The riding on the sand bit's usually okay. 
and a whole uh, bit of swell. There we go, moment of truth. I done a beautiful one there. Oh, okay, there's the front wheel. That's big. Oh, no, it's not. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Downhill now. <laughs> wow, that was messy. Redemption on the way back. Yeah, to get there though, if you want to go over to here, you got to um, you got to deal with the salt water. So this is the other side of here is um, Pebbly Beach Camp. I thought it was closed. It it may well be. I can't remember. National Parks dude said something about that. But um, maybe not. <laughs> Get the rust into it. Yeah. <laughs> the water looks nice. yeah, I just wouldn't do it to me bike. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'd rather drop it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Gotta redeem myself. On the way in, that was terrible. Better. <laughs> Alright, what have we got? Oh, yeah, no, they're good. I think they're ready. They're not you new. Cut one open or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, give us a. You haven't nuked them. Alright, alright. Well, they're going. So, what do you got? Sausages and pasta? We got some snags and we've got some uh, packet pasta for tonight's feast. We're living like kings, but I don't, I don't know how much I trust the. The, the cool, chef. The cooler pack that we brought over. Oh, here. okay. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. But those little things are good, eh? It just got off the. That grill is so. Got good. It off the plate. Like you wouldn't put food on that. No. Oh, no. I wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna lose my eyebrows here. Yeah. Oh, food's hidden in here. Well, where's the cooking equipment? Pretty good spot for it, actually. 
out of the way. When I haven't got um, pots and pans or whatever in here, then it's, um, I put little fuel cans. Two one litre ones fit perfect. Coming around ends. That's a good idea, putting the onions in with the soup. Ah, it gives it some hope. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, oh, it's just food. What Mick Dundee used to say, tastes like shit, but you can live on it. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is pretty well my camping food. I will, um, this winter I'm going to get a bit more elaborate. Yeah, I need to pick my, my game up. <laughs> yeah, just like steak and bloody tomato roasted and... Yep. Just stuff that actually is inspiring, dude. Sizzle them up. It'll take a little while. They'll get there. So we all survived the night. I'm not sure where Curtis is. His dad's um, sizzling some toast. So I'm gonna go down to water, check out the ocean. Still blowing a bit, still a bit sketchy, the old weather, a bit sort of cloudy. But um, yeah, no, it'll start. Right. So here's an interesting thing. Like you'll notice lots of poo around. Like poo's not that exciting in itself. But what it is, there's lots of wild horses in here. The last time I was here, which is about a year and a half ago, the National Parks fella said they'd removed about 200. There's more poo. Yeah, it removed about Said they'd removed about 200 wild horses. I think they, they didn't kill them, they like relocated them, made pens and caught them. But there's obviously still plenty in here. And he said the ones that are left are very smart, like, I don't know, I'm sort of looking for them now. <laughs> very smart, very hard to, um, to trick. So there's a slight chance we will, um, we might actually see one. Here's another, some more sort of mess from them. But yeah, they come awfully close to this campground. This time I walked along this track, there's two brown snakes mating, and um, yeah, I let them go about their business and then went around them, but very snaky sort of area, gotta watch the ground a bit. And um, yeah, there's a black snake and two browns within about 50 metres of each other. So I'll keep my eyes open, my tired eyes. <laughs> Alright, keep going. Well, a bit windy all day. Pretty strong, well, easterly this one which brings in a lot of moisture. Southeast is the wettest sort of wind, but this is this will do it too. And um, yeah, I might walk out of there, have a bit of a look around, but yeah, bit of a wild one. Uh, we'll go out, walk out towards the point, see what we can see. Big tide today too, so there's a one nine at about 10 o'clock. So there won't be much beach left in a couple of hours, so I'll get on the beach while it's still there. Our old days improving. 
bit of sun. Beautiful. Totally alone. So lucky in this country. Of here. Bloody nice little spot. Nice way to spend a couple of days. Good fun. Yeah, so we're going to head over to a, a, um, oh, a statue, I guess you call it, called the Key Man, which is an interesting thing in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to check that out. Kurt hasn't seen it, his dad obviously hadn't seen it, so. Hey, that's the plan. So we're pretty close to it now. Phew. Track's still pretty good. And here we are. All right, we made it. I see Kurt's reaction, like you have this what the type look. Anticipation. Yeah, I'm not saying nothing. You got to find it. Come on, not far. I can see it. Seven or eight k's. I can. I can. It's 18 meters. Yeah, I'm probably... I don't actually know what I don't I don't know what to expect. That's That's good. <laughs> you'll just look you'll be what the that's what you'll be thinking. What is that? <laughs> Told you. Is it like a uh, it's some sort of chick with a What is that? <laughs> that's so random. It is. That's the thing that got me. It gets me, it's like Is that um is it like a I don't know, you got to analyse this I, thing. I sort of don't know what. <laughs> wow. How bizarre. They're fucking keys. They're keys. Literal keys. Or oh, blanks. Wow. Eh. Uh, Do you know the story behind it? Once you st wait till you start reading, you're going to go, what the, again? Oh, there's a here. So... Yeah, so he's in a nutch. He was circus performer, right? There's actually, it might have fallen down, but there's a couple of wires set across here. He used to type rope through here in his lunch breaks and that, just to keep keep his performing stuff up. Yeah, just timber cutter. Create, he made that. That was his um, log splitter, wow. mobile log splitter. Jonas. Yeah, so he's with um yeah, you probably remember the Ashton Circus. Yeah. 
Remember them as a kid? Yeah. Hang on, so someone created this in his honor, I'm assuming? Is that what blah, 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 blah. Above the statue, Jonas had uh, strung a steel cable between. Okay, so he's made this steel cable. Uh, Jonas used the cable to practice his circus skills. <laughs> Uh, the statue has outstanding cultural and aesthetic values, has a strong association with life and work in local communities. Okay. There you go. So it represents the life of someone who arrived in Australia as a post-World War II immigrant and worked uh, these forests 12 years before returning Absolutely. to the circus he loved. So it's, okay, yeah, it's a monument to him. But it's very, very unique structure. When you get out here and realise where it is, it sort of, but it sort of makes sense. He's just where he worked, but it's um, it's different. <laughs> it is different. All right, so that's the key man. Very unusual structure, statue. Let's tribute to a fellow that's um, yeah, changed his whole life, moved to Australia, and started a new one. All right, we're pretty well out of here. I'm um, gonna basically just head back to the highway. Curtis is um, heading north, we're heading south. So this will probably, probably part ways at the highway, eh? I'd say so, yeah. It's been a fun couple of days, eh? Mate, it's been an absolute cracking trip. I, um, yeah, I'm stoked, with, I'm stoked with some of the places that we're yeah. in. I really appreciate it too. Ah, oh, you're right. It's a bit of a look around and and um, it's nice not being the one navigating for once. It's nice yeah. being like just the guy tagging along and, and following everything. So And yeah, probably a change of pace for you, not being so hardcore. Yeah, yeah. Like more of a tourist sort of a cruise, you know, yeah. like I seem to do. Yeah, I like these rides just as much as you can the just, sort of harder ones. So. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. think so hard. Yeah. You can relax. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, I'm pretty well out of here. We've had a um, pretty awesome trip. It's good to show Curtis a few spots around my way. He has lived at Coffs, but there's a lot of spots he, he's yet to see and he's keen to see. Yeah. yeah, so if you haven't checked out Curtis's channel, it's another guy on a bike. I'll put a link down below and his little picture up here somewhere you'll see. Yeah. He sort of does what I do, but um, on a bit more extreme level. So if you like cruising around seeing stuff, that's a bit... A bit more adventurous. Yeah, a bit more adventurous. Um, check out his stuff. All right, guys, we're out of here. I'm done. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. Leave a comment. Always like reading the comments. They're good value. And um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.